Hey guys, New Jersey Piper Ben here. Gonna crack open a new Tenef Tobacco and do a first impression video. Haven't done that in quite a while. So today we're gonna do some GLP's Old London Series Sextant. And I like the 10 description, so I'm just gonna read that quickly. A classic mixture, harmoniously married to a navy flake. Ripe Virginia tobaccos are first blended with Cypriot Latakia, fine orientals, and a touch of dark fired Kentucky leaf then infused with a hint of dark rum before being gently pressed, matured, and sliced. The flavor is rich, bold, and satisfying. The aroma, an enchanting inter interweaving of traditions. So I guess this is maybe what you would call a crossover or a hybrid blend at least. So it's kind of a navy flake married to a uh, an English blend or a Balkan mixture. Um, so yeah. And a sextant, just to note, is I had to look this up. I was I knew it was used for uh, like maritime navigation, but apparently it was a specific tool used to um, measure distances using celestial bodies. So like measuring the distance from a star to a certain point on the horizon apparently would allow them to get where they get where they were going on their ships. Uh, incredibly interesting. It looks like an incredibly complex device, but uh, yeah, kind of amazing the uh, ingenuity of things like that. And just noting this tin is from February of 2019. So, yeah, some pretty good age on it. I actually have a little bit of a bulge. Yeah, a little bit of air. A little bit of air released on that one. And they did read a couple of reviews and somebody mentioned the, the first thing that hits you is the rum and that's definitely true but that it tends to um vaporize away and uh, and diminish and uh get more of the uh tobacco and smokiness from the lot of keys and the virginias And this is basically a uh, kind of a broken flake. So I'll try to get enough out to show you guys. Or maybe I could just leave it in the tin. We'll see how that works. I'm gonna pull these tabs off. See if we can get enough light on that shot. Yeah, that looks pretty good. So you can see the dark fire, the uh, ripe Virginia's going on in there doesn't look like a lat bomb at all I wouldn't guess and I don't get a huge lat latakia essence I'm definitely mostly getting that rum that rum and that Virginia and a little bit of that body from the Kentucky it smells really good though I have a feeling this is going to be very tasty all right we'll be right back with the uh, smoke all right guys Got the uh, tobacco loaded up in my, you're not going to be able to see it, but I got my uh, Savinelli Flamania 116. Doing a bit of a low light smoke tonight. <laughs> Just got these new uh, LED lanterns that look like flames. Just got those in uh, yesterday pretty early, so I put them in the backyard and gathered up a bunch of sunlight because they're like solar powered. But yeah, they look pretty cool. I like them a lot. They're a lot brighter than I was thinking they were going to be. I 
I let the section sit out for about half an hour because it was quite moist. So I just wanted to make sure I uh, gave it plenty of time to dry out so it would burn well. And the main flavor I get first off of this is the uh, the Virginia's. You get a little bit of the a uh, little bit of the lot of key in the background, but again, this is not a lap bomb at all. So you get just a hint of smokiness compared to uh, com compared to blends that are much smokier that would have uh, more lot of key, obviously. So this is definitely light on the Latakia. And the uh, the next thing I'm definitely noticing is the uh, dark fired Kentucky. And with that, it, it just kind of gives you that sort of smooth, smooth mouthfeel and a um, little bit of creaminess to the smoke. <clears throat> and forgive me if uh, you hear some loud bangs here shortly I, I believe we're supposed to have a fireworks show uh in town at some point but it's not as close as it normally is they used to set them off just over the uh over the lake which is half a block from here so we could see them really well from our from our uh front porch which is nice But yeah, I think they're going to be behind me this time, but I'm not sure. They're supposed to start at dark, and it's just got dark, so we'll see what happens. But just in case you start hearing some explosions, that's what that is. <laughs> and that rum is... If it's there, it's it's very, very, uh, very, very mild. Definitely a background component. If it's if it's if it's changing the flavor at all. And I am picking up the Orientals a little bit now, so I've gotten down a little bit, probably about third down the bowl. Giving that sort of uh, licorice hint. But yeah, very, you know, say well balanced blend here. Uh, nothing, nothing really stands out too much. And as far as the marriage of a, uh, of a sort of navy navy blend or a navy flake and a uh, and a Balkan or an English, I'd say it's you know it's pretty successful just from that standpoint of uh, of combining those, those sort of two flavor components. It's a couple of deer in the uh, neighbor's driveway right here about. I don't know, 30 feet from me. Yeah, it's good. It's it's nothing. It's it's not. I'm not getting too much sweetness off of it. Well, maybe a hint of it again, just coming from the Virginias. 
but um, you know with the uh, with the added uh, dark fired Kentucky and the Orientals, it's it's definitely kind of pulling it back from that sort of sweet sweet place, I would say. But it's not bad. It's not bad. I don't. It's not something. You know, it's really hitting me like, oh, I'm going to have to definitely buy this again. But I would say if you like traditional English blends and navy flakes, um, wouldn't be bad to try, I wouldn't say. GLP is always good stuff. Hey, Steve. There were some deer that just came by. I don't know if you see <laughs> They were like literally, they were like right where you're standing right now. <laughs> Oh. Oh. <laughs> so my neighbor is not a fan of the deer. <laughs> but I definitely understand that. Cuz they do they'll they'll eat your flowers. We actually have some, uh, I think some tulips that, that pop up every year alongside the driveway. And um, one year we got home from somewhere and I just noticed it was like snapped off of the stem. And I'm like, who in the world is stealing our tulips? Just the very top of it, like just the flower and <laughs> leaving the stem. I was like, are there some little kids running around being stupid? And it hit me a while a while later. Oh, the deer eat them. <laughs> so yeah, I don't know. But we have some irises that are perennial as well, and it's a it's a pretty thick uh, row of irises, about probably eight or nine feet long. That come, that come in really well every year. They're beautiful, but uh, they don't eat those. So I guess I don't know. Maybe irises are poisonous, or they don't like them, or something. But yeah. So that's good. Yeah, enjoying the sextant. Nothing crazy. Um, nothing I'm going to like be chomping at the bit to try again, but it's definitely a high quality blend. And I'd say if you if you take a look at it and, and read about it and you like the you're a big fan of the components and you're, you know, kind of curious to see what a mashup of a navy flake and an english taste like then sure go for it it's worth worth a uh worth nine or ten bucks for a ten of it for sure the flakes were awesome uh, very easy to uh break up and process yeah i'd say that's got to be the fireworks show just getting started right now there's no way that's a civilian operation going on over there <laughs> Or not, it just stops. I have no idea what's going on. Anyway, I'm going to get off here. You guys take care. Be excellent to each other.